Animaniacs, it's me, Terrible Tim, once again here at Kansas City Comic Con, and I'm here with Miss America 1955, Lee Merriweather, right here in oh, Kansas City. I'm afraid, Terrible Tim, I really am afraid. Don't be afraid, I'm oh, a sweetheart, I swear. Oh yes, see, I can tell, see, I can tell. Oh, I've been hugging nice on Doug Jones all day. You oh, know I, I mean? I'm sorry. <laughs> Doug's a good guy. Yes, Well, he is. now, this is great because I've never met a Miss America. And we've never had one on the show, so this is a first for Drive-In Movie Maniacs. Well, I'm thrilled. I really am. I know. Thank that. you. Now, Thank what you. Was it Such like an honor. Winning Miss America. I mean, oh. that's a big deal, right? Yes, it was. I I never expected to win. I I didn't even enter. I was entered by a fraternity. Oh my goodness, really? <laughs> and was, I couldn't get out of it. Oh my God, were you was, trying to uh, join the fraternity? No, no. <laughs> huh? They just they they were asked by the. Uh, committee at the school to just pick someone oh, and really? then they'll send in a picture and I had posed uh, for pictures in the photography class to make 50 cents an hour Woohoo! Ooh, big money and right? so yes <laughs> and uh, they took one of those pictures and sent it in and, and, and so voila. they all thought that and I they beat was, on all those other women to become Miss America and you got crowned and sheer everything. luck sheer amazing. luck sheer luck that's really. amazing mm -hmm. now of course a lot of people know you from your role in the Batman movie. Mm -hmm. You replaced Julie Newmar oh, I, as Catwoman. Uh, yes. Now, how did that all come about for you? Well, I, Julie got a movie. Oh. And um, she was already set to film it. And so when they started the movie, she wasn't available. And so they had read about, I think, 50 women read for the part. And uh, I was the lucky one <laughs> and got the, got the part. That's really awesome. Now, you, did, uh, you also were in the revamp of the Munsters today, right? Yes. You played Lily Munster mm -hmm. in the 80s. I did. That was pretty cool, too. Oh, it was great fun. That was a done, it was filmed in a live audience. Oh, my goodness. Yes. Uh -huh. That's at, really at hard. Uni it like almost at theater. Universal. Right. Universal Studios had a theater. And they file in, and we would do the show. We had, of course, rehearsed it and learned our lines and everything. Everything usually went smoothly. A few of the special effects they had to do twice, but other than that, it was wonderful. It was a great cast. John Shuck was the uh, was Herman, right? And I was Lily. Yep. And <laughs> we had a wonderful time. We really we, did. We actually know Butch Patrick from the original Munsters. He's yes. a good friend of ours. Oh, yeah. Butch, dear Butch. He's yep, yep. great. He's, yeah, he is. He's a cutie. He's a good guy, old Butch. He does yes, a lot with the horror host, thing, which is what we are. We do the uh, horror host thing late at night, you know. So uh, we're kind of scary late night TV. Ooh. Now, you did a lot of television over the years. You mm -hmm. did everything from Star Trek to Barnaby Jones. I mean, Fantasy yes. Island, Love Boat. Oh, I did them all. Circus of the Stars. <laughs> Come on. That was classic back in the day. Oh, <laughs> I guess I, I was almost killed on that show. Oh now, yeah. What episode were you almost killed on? Like uh, which no, the, it was the uh, the uh, well, uh, the Circus, Circus of, of the, the Stars. Stars. You did that a few times though. Yes, I, I walked a high wire and I dove into a pool. I okay. uh, three. I did three of them. The third one <laughs> was <when laughs> I was uh, hanging beneath a. Um, a motorcycle that was being driven by a um, oh Fonda um, Jane Fonda Henry Fonda no 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 but his son okay I don't remember his son I mean it's, I'm bad with the Fondas too Peter Peter Fonda that's Peter right. Fonda Peter Fonda good thing we got he was on the oh yes <laughs> he, he was driving the motorcycle on the high wire and I was hanging beneath him. And it was supposed to, I, all I had to do, supposedly, was to, but they had taken down that bar and painted it and dried it and everything. It was ready for a but they put it on backwards. Oh, so no! The weight, the weight of it was, I was to go this way, but the weight was pushing this oh, way. Oh, no! And I could, I couldn't, I couldn't, could, and I couldn't get it up. I couldn't get it up and over. And I just, oh, you hear me screaming on that show? <laughs> I could imagine the contracts oh. and the lawyers involved on a show like that. Yes. It would be insane. <laughs> it was. 
Now you yeah. starred with the late great Rock Hudson and John Wayne in The Undefeated. Yes. What was it like working with two legends like that? I I was not frightened because they they were gentlemen. They right. were gentlemen right away. I mean, they were. How do you do, Lee? Nice to have you well, on you were board. A woman, it was you know, all. Sure that didn't it was hurt very either, nice. <laughs> it was, they were just really very, very nice to me. It was difficult filming filming in Durango, Mexico. That was where we all suffered. <laughs> I bet that was very hot. Oh yes, hot, and. Uh, uh, we had trouble with the um, a lot of horses that we had as part of our work ethic and and uh, work situation. All right. <laughs> and the little flecks that we found on our food at lunchtime, right, right. you know, you get the idea. Mm, okay. Oh my goodness. But Rock was wonderful. He he said, if if we don't get a tent, I'm through with this movie. We have to have protection of our food, and, and no one was protecting it or anything. It was, he was wonderful. He really was. And John Wayne said, go, go, t- call 20th Century Fox. Let's get this settled. And right. so he gave him the go-ahead, and it was really nice. You guys got a roof over your head. Yes. That was good. <laughs> so what are you up to nowadays besides doing conventions like this? Are you working still in the biz? Oh, yes. Whenever I, I our, our um, union allows us to work under scale for fledgling screenwriters, sure. fledgling directors, uh, and uh, so we, I've made four, five, five films, five films, uh, and uh, it was been, it's been wonderful because it's, it's really a golden opportunity to work on new material and work with other actors that are taking advantage of the situation again. And so we had a wonderful time. What, <laughs> what are some of the new projects that you've been working on? Well, the last one I, we just finished and it was it premiered in Florida. It was um, Waiting in the Wings, the musical. Okay. And then the sequel was Still waiting in the wings, the musical. The musical. Okay. And, Part two, maybe. But I did get to, I did get to sing in the last one, so oh, that did was you? that was fun. Oh, yes, that's great. yes. You must have a lovely singing voice. Not really, <laughs> not really. I was a little old lady in the movie, so. Oh, well, uh, there you go. But I didn't have to. I didn't have to uh, talk like this. <laughs> but I could sing, you know, my right. normal voice, so it was all right. <laughs> was there like a website or a, do you keep up with people on Facebook at all? Can, Fans my daughter, to. my daughter does. She my does all the, does she does all the, oh, yes. the internet, social media mm-hmm. for you, but they can yes. find you on there. Oh, yes, okay. definitely. Well, there you go. Yep. Lee Merriweather right here on Drive-In <laughs> Movie Maniacs. How awesome is that? Miss America 1955, she's still as beautiful as can be. And Terrible <laughs> Tim is telling you he'll see you on the dark side. <laughs> Ooh, beware. Beware. I change after a certain hour. <laughs> I think you'd better get to bed. Ooh, you've done this before. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Later tonight.